Welcome learners. In today's lecture, we will learn two new methods in MADM elementary methods. Number one, conjunctive method and the second one is disjunctive method. First, we will understand conjunctive method. What are the requirements for this method and what is the formula for this method? And in next, we will understand with the help of an example. So for this method, the cutoff value for attributes should be supplied by the decision maker. So decision maker should supply the cutoff values for every attributes. Each suppose four attributes are given. So four different cutoff values should be provided. Number two, this method may give us the possible set of alternatives. It is not necessarily, uh, it, it will not necessary that it will give us a single alternative, but it may give us a possible set of alternatives. So what is the formula? First we'll understand this formula, then we'll come to this line. Any alternative, any alternative is acceptable if and only if xij is greater or equal to xj star for all j. Okay, for all j, j equal to 1, 2, dot, 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 n. This is all. So, because we are having n number of alternatives. So, xj star, what is the xj star? xj star is the cutoff value for xj. So, this particular thing is can be summarized as we have to select that alternative which satisfies cutoff value for all the attributes. This satisfies cutoff value for all the attributes. Let me enter. Which satisfies cutoff value for all the attributes. This is very important. So, what we are doing here basically, we are trying to categorize those attributes into two categories. The one is acceptable and the another one is non-acceptable. So, this can be treated as the classifying problem. Next, so we can understand these all which we have discussed here with the help of an example. If you did not get something here, so need not to worry because we are we will understand this with the help of this example. Okay. So in this example, a decision maker is looking for a car out of four possible options available in the market. So four cars are available and the, the attribute values are given to us. Fuel efficiency, comfort, looks, price, fuel efficiency, comfort and looks are given to us. And one more thing which we need for this method is cutoff value. So cutoff value x star is given like this 8, 16, good, good. What does it mean? It means cutoff value for price is 8. So the cutoff value for this is 8. Cutoff value for fuel is 16. Cutoff value for comfort is good. Cutoff value for look is good again. Now we understand what is cutoff value. In case of price, if we are saying the cutoff value is 8, means he will not go beyond 8 lakhs. He will need the car which is having the price 8 or less than 8. Clear? And at the same time, for fuel efficiency, suppose cutoff value is 16. Here, the cutoff value is given as 16. So what does it mean here in the case of fuel efficiency? So for fuel efficiency, he will go for the car which is having fuel efficiency 16 or more than 16 because more the fuel efficiency, better the car will be. So more preferable the car for the decision maker. So for 16, he will go for 16, 17 and 16 means more value 16, 17, 18, 
means at least 16 is the requirement. Similarly, the case of comfort, he will need at least the comfort level of good. So good, good and excellent will be acceptable here. So for looks, good and excellent. So he will take this good and excellent, these two. Here he will select these two. Here he will select, no, he will not select this because 16 is the cutoff value so he will select phase 16 he will select 17 he will select 16 cutoff value in the case of price is given as 8 so 8 is the highest price he is ready to pay so 8 is selected so car 1 is having 4 lakh price so it is selected similarly car 4 is having 3.5 lakhs price so it is also selected so this is how cutoff value works so once you understood cutoff values we can proceed in this method further solution using conjunctive method so attributes and these values are given so first of all you have to check the which alternatives satisfying the cutoff value for the first attributes the so first attribute the cutoff value is 8 for this the cutoff value is 8 so 4 this is selected 8 obviously this is selected this is selected so car 1 right here car 1 car 2 right here car 2 car 4 are selected so 3 cars are selected for price which are satisfying the cutoff value for price similarly set of alternatives which are satisfying cutoff value for fuel efficiency so which are so what is the minimum requirement is 16 so 16 for this minimum requirement is 16 so this is selected so 16 or more than 16 those will be selected this is selected this is selected so car 2 car 3 and car 4 these are selected for fuel efficiency similarly cutoff value is good for comfort so this is for comfort good so good 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 these three are selected Number third, set of alternatives satisfying cutoff value for comfort. This car 1, car 2, car 3 are selected. Similarly, again here is good. So I have written here good, good and excellent. So these three cars are selected again. I think I missed something here. So yeah, in this example, this is good. So this is good. So these all are selected. So how? Now what? Set of alternative which satisfies all the cutoff values simultaneously means we are looking for here. We are looking the alternative. The alternative is acceptable if and only if it satisfies for all. For all cutoff value, it satisfies all cutoff values. So all cutoff values means the intersection. So only car two is selected because car two is the only which, which is having all tick values like this car one this tick this is not this is tick this tick so this is not acceptable car two this is tick price is tick fuel is ticked comfort is ticked looks ticked yes car two is selected okay similarly car three no ticked so car three will not be selected car four this is ticked this is ticked but these two are not ticked so car four is also not selected so car two is the so car two is the our selected option. So this is how we work in conjunctive method. I hope this is clear. Now we will look for another method that is disjunctive method. Okay, how it works? Same in this case, cutoff value for attributes should be supplied by the decision maker. This method again gives a possible set of alternatives. Here, the difference is here, AI is acceptable if and only if XIJ is greater or equal to XJ star, no difference here, for J equal to one or two or N, means if 
the alternative will be acceptable which satisfies cutoff value for at least one attribute. If cutoff value for one attribute is satisfied by any alternative, that alternative will be treated as acceptable. If any alternative satisfies a single cutoff value, then that attribute will be sorry, then alter, that alternative will be acceptable. Need not to worry if we are not getting here, we'll understand this with the help of an example. So same example taken here, the decision maker has to select a car out of four possible options available in the market. The price, fuel efficiency, comfort, looks are attributes and options are car one, car two, car three and car four. Means four options and four attributes. Cutoff value is provided. That is eight for price, 16 for fuel efficiency and comfort, good, looks good. Let's understand this method here. So cutoff values are this. Okay. Now, cutoff value for this is eight. So which is selected? Car one is selected. Car two is selected. Car three will not be selected because the cutoff value is eight and 10 is higher than eight. So higher the price, lesser the less preferable the value that attribute is, that option is 16. In case of fuel efficiency, the cutoff value is 16. So 15 will not be selected because it is less fuel efficient and we are looking for high fuel efficient car. So 16 will be selected, 17, car 3, 16. These three will be selected. Now good. In this case, good. So good, good, excellent average will not be selected. Again here, the condition, the cutoff value is good. So good, good and good. So same set of alternatives satisfying cutoff value for price. That is, which are the, those cars? Car 1, car 2 and car 4. Fuel efficient cars, which satisfies this cutoff value 16, car 2, car 3, car 4. Set of alternatives satisfying cutoff values for comfort. Car 1, car 2, car 3. Set of alternatives satisfying cutoff value for looks. Good, good, excellent. That is car 1, car 2, car 3, car 1, car 2, car 3. Set of alternatives which satisfies at least one attribute for at least one, for one attributes are given by O1. Union O2, Union O3, Union O4, that is car 1, car 2, car 3 and car 4. That is all alternatives are acceptable. So he can go for anyone using this method. So this is, you can say this is the drawback of this method that we are not getting a single option as the result. So thank you very much. We will come with another lecture.